I'm Jordan Halsey. I'm a pediatric plastic and craniofacial surgeon here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. I am the co-director of the 22Q Deletion Syndrome Clinic, and I'm involved in a lot of research projects related to that. 22Q Deletion Syndrome uh, is a fairly common syndrome. I think it's around one in two to 4,000 individuals. Uh, it's also called DeGeorge Syndrome or Velocardiofacial Syndrome. We have a lot of families in the state of Florida and, of course, all across the U.S. Uh, where children are born with this specific uh, deletion. It creates a variety of, of kind of genetic manifestations. And oftentimes the reason why plastic surgery or cleft and craniofacial surgery is involved is they can have cleft lip and palate. And they oftentimes also have uh, significant differences in their speech that sometimes they benefit from surgery to correct. Oftentimes, people don't know uh, prenatally. A lot of times what happens is children are born and they notice certain either cardiac defects or certain lab values are just a little bit uh, different and kind of unexpected. And they do require a genetic evaluation. There's a specific genetic test called a chromosomal microarray that specifically highlights this deletion and allows us to make the diagnosis of 22Q. Um, there are times where this is known prenatally, but the majority of our families find out uh, after birth and sometimes even later on in childhood and adolescence, um, many, many children can find out at, at various stages and different ages based on their presentation. I think everybody should be mindful that this is not a terribly uncommon diagnosis. Um, any child that had, was born with any cardiac difference, especially ones requiring major surgery or major cardiac uh, congenital anomalies, should be tested for 22Q, as this is oftentimes what makes the early diagnosis. They get a genetic workup related to their cardiac condition. Or if they have significant hypocalcemia, or they have significant changes in their immune response to viruses or other things, as all of these can be early sort of signs that this is present. Oftentimes this sort of lays kind of under the radar until people really work it up. But I think, especially if you see one or more of these things and combine together, uh, definitely don't, don't shy away from having a genetic evaluation because that will either rule it in or rule it out. And if you find out that you have 22Q deletion syndrome, you can get the care you need in a, in a really great environment here at All Children's.